So in this video, I want to show you how to UV map really simple objects in Maya. So this is for anyone who's just about to UV map something for the first time or who's, who just wants to know a little bit more about how to go about UV mapping things. Um, so what I want to show in this tutorial is just how to do it with simple objects, especially primitive objects, the ones that you know come already with Maya like a cube or like a cone or just a torus or plane right so let's start with the cube one thing that you have to know with Maya is that when you create a primitive it already comes with UVs so that's pretty awesome right so you don't have to make your own UVs um, where this can be an issue is uh, you know it comes with UVs but are they the appropriate UVs right so Let's go ahead and just look at the UVs on this thing. So I'm using Maya 2018. Um, what you want to do is you want to be under the poly modeling uh, tab here for your... Uh, and then just go to... Uh, click on this for to open the UV editor. Move this guy to the side a little bit. So... This is what a cube comes with uh, in Maya. Maya 2018 and any other version comes with UVs right and for a cube of course the UVs are really simple because it's just a geometrical object so it comes with you know a few sides and stretching is pretty good um, by the way if you want to see the uh, the grid that I have on the model here you have to do is you have to so this is going to be your default when you open this window what I like to do is I like to click on shaded UVs first and I like to click here so that you can see the grid and if you don't want to see it if you want to see it in the uh, UV window as well you can click on image but in my case I don't want to see it here I just want to see it on my model so this is what the these are the UVs that come with our cube right which are pretty they're pretty good right there's no distortion. Um, the one thing that you have to be aware of is that these are good UVs, but depending on what you want to do with this cube, they may not be the appropriate UVs. Uh, say you want to bake a high poly to this cube, you may have to cut all these guys so that they're not connected. So in this case, this is just one huge piece. Um, but so one thing to to do when it comes to UVs is the thing to know when it comes to UVs is that whenever you have an object and there's a 90 degree or greater angle uh, between a face like between this guy and this guy we have a 90 degree here right you want to cut your UVs there the reason for that is that because when you bake the high poly you're going to get better results so if we were going to do that, we would probably have to cut these guys. Um, so I'm going to cut this. So I will probably have to, you know, have this guy in pieces like this. So let me undo that. But in this case, you know, this is pretty good, right? This is pretty good for most cases. Uh, it's so one more thing when it comes to UVs is that you want to make sure your UVs are always using the entire uh, UV space, right? You don't want this guy to be, you know, really tiny and then this is your UV space. And then your UV is like right here in a corner and all this is wasted space. You want to make sure that, you know, like Maya had it set it up, it's using almost the entire space in the UV. So that's that for the cube. Now let's go to the cone here. So again, this is also a primitive and it comes with UVs already made from Maya. Now the issue with this guy that I'm looking at here is that again, it comes with UVs, but are these the appropriate UVs? And in this case, I would say no, these are not the appropriate UVs, mostly because you can see stretching. Basically, what you always want to see in your model, you want to see it as close as possible to this, right? You know square checker pattern wanted to look like that on this 
and right now this is skewed you know, stretching going on so that's that's not appropriate obviously again it depends on your situation but for most cases you don't want to have um, stretching in your UVs so let's go ahead and fix that for this guy and an easy way to do that I'm going to hold down right click and go to UV just double click this guy so it's good one thing that it's, it did right is that it's one UV shell so this you know takes the entire thing but what it didn't do right is that it's really distorted so I want to fix that one of my favorite tools for that is the uh, modify on fault tool so you're going to click on that not sure why it's taking so long it's usually pretty quick it does that so the unfold tool basically tries to you know, create make it so that your UVs are as close as possible so that there is no distortion as you can see here this looks pretty good right this this is usable here you got no distortion basically the, you can see there's the checker pattern the checker pattern is pretty good obviously you're gonna get a bit of a seam here that's fine so this looks like a good uv and one thing that we have to do here is pack it correctly one thing to do when you want to pack things is just select everything in the uvs see here and go to modify layout basically that's uh, maya tries to pack things correctly and sometimes it does a good job and sometimes it doesn't and in this case i could probably pack it a lot better than this so that's that for this guy so simple uvs there now this this comes with uvs and this is already perfect right from maya you don't have to do anything with this guy now let's go to this guy so as you can see this is more complicated as far as uving but luckily for us maya gives us a uv the only problem here is that there you know there is a little bit of stretching and when it comes to cylindrical objects like this and you know just uh, curves and stuff there will be stretching you can't really avoid it um, but it depends on how much stretching you're willing to uh, be okay with so as you can see there's not much going on in the inside but maybe we want we don't care about what's in the inside we care more about the outside of it so we will probably fix the the stretching for the outside just by scaling this guy a little bit and there we go you know it's, now it's a lot better for the outside and there is stretching in the inside but let's say maybe in our case we really don't care too much about what it looks like in there so in cases like those we can just use the uvs that maya gave us and then just use that but maybe you know maybe we don't like this we don't want we don't want our uvs to be like this and in cases like those you can you can uh do your own uvs however you want so one way to do that if you want to make sure we're avoiding stretching you know at all is to basically select your object and just apply a planar map it doesn't matter what it looks like here go to edge I'm going to select the one that goes in the middle here and then select this one just double click it so that it goes all the way through and then in my UVs I'm going to hold down shift and right click and go to cut or you know it's right here too you know cut so now that these guys are cut I can select them and use that tool that I really like which is to modify on fold and there we go it gives us and I'm going to relay that out too modify layout so it looks like this and as you can see now there is no stretching well there is a little bit here but I guess it's not as bad as it used to be so it looks it looks a lot better as far as the stretching goes um, but now you know it's a trade-off now we have two pieces instead of just one strip and uh, we're gonna have a seam here that we you know, we have to be aware of that there's a seam here 
one here uh, whereas before there was just one seam going through here so again when it comes to uvs it depends on what you what you want uh, are you looking to are you looking to really optimize your uvs in that case you would have used the other uh, strip because it's a lot easier to pack you know it's just a, a rectangle whereas these guys these guys take, take more space because they're not you know they're not a rectangle so it's a little more difficult to pack these guys and they could they could be using more space right so it really depends on how optimized you want your uvs to be uh, but basically this is how this is just the way to uv things in maya and again that's my favorite way of doing it when i uh, do a planer and then just cut a few pieces and then just use that on fall tool the on fall tool uh, gives pretty good results for the most part um, when it comes to uh, stretching so yeah that's basically how you get started with just really simple uvs on objects um, i'll probably make a video on how to do uvs on more complicated objects if there's interest in that